Hello, what? Who are you? And what do you do? I'm joking. I'm the drummer. Actually, it's a lot better when he actually does it, right? It's Dave Benson Phillips' panto vlog. Oh, no, it isn't! Oh, yes, it is. So this is my outfit and this is what I look like, this is the outfit, the outfit that I'm supposed to be in. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose the hat. Yeah. Oh hello there. It's me, Dave. How are you today? Feeling good? Yeah, me too. Here I am, backstage in Panto. Now, one of the things I've discovered as a Panto villain is that there are lots of times where you sit down by yourself and basically um, wait for all the action to happen. Basically all I am is the, the, the catalyst for bad and evil that runs throughout the show. But there's a lot of heroes in the show. So you have Jack and his mother. You have King and also the princess, who's the king's daughter. And then in amongst all of that, you have the pantomime cow. You have the dancers who are, of course, uh, the young babes and the Jews and our, and our senior dancers as well. And so, of course, they're providing all the merriment and movement. And I'm back here just waiting for another time to walk on the stage and to be hissed and booed and that's primarily what I'm doing and uh, this is why I sit I listen to stuff backstage and that's pretty much it hey. hello hey. hi How you yeah. I'm just doing a vlog actually um, yeah just to say oh right this is Jen Merry this breakfast. <laughs> and this, this is Jen Jen is in charge of the show and uh, she looks after all the cast and everything and to tell you the truth, she even spends a lot of her time backstage as well, just generally getting on with life and making sure the show runs. Trying to get Dave to wear his costume. <laughs> trying to get him to wear his hat. Yeah, it's all right, not a problem. Now, at this point, I've got to open the doors, please. Excuse me. Yeah. Right, there you go. Thank you I was much. there, I was doing the vlog. <laughs> I was doing the vlog. There you go, girls. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> See, there I was talking to you and I almost missed my duty there. I'm supposed to open the door so as the cast can get off the stage very easily. Um, as you can imagine, being on a stage, especially with a full panto like this, where you have lots of scenery being changed and lots of people running behind, space is an absolute premium. So we have to get everybody on and off as much as possible and as quickly as possible. And I was supposed to hold the door open, but because I was so busy talking to... Okay, right, I'm just going to stop now with the technical stuff. This is, this is Jenny, and this is Jen again, this is Jenny. And as you can see, Jenny's got a hat on. Would you like to tell them about that very loudly? It's Dave's hat and he won't wear it. That's, that's, what, <laughs> that's the deal with the hat. Now there you are, see, this look is the reason... Look how evil you look. I, no, that's I, terrifying. I, I, I look like a pimp. <laughs> I, look, I look like a hobbit pimp. <laughs> I look like I should be rolling around the shards just saying, yo, man, with my money yet? With my money yet, yo? You can do the show like that. I couldn't do the show like that. We'll send it in the Shire. I, I'll, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Do you know what? I'm going to leave this with you. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to go back on the stage now because this is a big scene where I have to talk to then trot and I have to basically say to her where's the money for the rent so I will see you a little bit later if you're very lucky I might get to show you the odd scene from the show okay thanks a lot for watching and remember if you like all this stuff just let me know write to me whatever like subscribe tell your mates thanks a lot Yeah. Now, are you all comfy, Jack? Yep. Night-night. Night-night.
night. I'd better get an early night myself. Who knows what chaos tomorrow will bring. Night night, boys and girls. Okay, this is the hat. This is probably the only part of the costume that I don't wear on the stage. Why? Because, well, as you saw earlier, I just look really bad in it. Yeah, sometimes that happens um, in pantos or shows in general, that you sometimes have to wear costumes that you rather wouldn't or you feel somewhat awkward in. And this hat here, to me, makes me feel and look like somebody you never want to meet in the middle of the street. You know what? The only reason why I would probably wear this hat is if public opinion turned around and said, Dave, you've got to wear the hat. And that's got to be, what, oh, 10,000 people at least. And I know that my my uh, my vlogs are very, what I would call, select audience, i.e., like, there's very few of them, but I'm very glad that you watch. Um, would I wear it? Well, only if there was huge opinion for me to wear this hat. Because i got to admit, when I wear a hat like this, I want to put on a list like this and go to people and say, yo, man, where's my money at? Where's my money? That's right, man. Because I feel, I feel like a, a PIMP. And I don't mean 50 cents player is making paper. I mean, I feel and look like a... Like, I can't even say the word. If you can spell it, yeah. If not, there you go. That's the word I'm, I'm trying my best not to say. But in this hat, I absolutely feel like it. I wouldn't mind, but somebody's actually made this hat. So it's a costume. It's not like you just buy it in a general store. This has been actually custom made for somebody at some point to have actually worn during a performance. And for some reason, it's got to me. And look at this hat, man. Yo, man, where's my money? Yeah, yo, where's my money? If you don't give me my money, man, I'm going to cut you. This drop will cut you, man. Yeah. See what I mean? It's not great, is it? <laughs> Tell me what you think. <laughs> I'm going to lock this off now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, because I'm a P-I-M-P. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.